What's up Crusader X gang? Welcome back to the channels. Check this out. Um, been driving the white car for a while and it's having overheating problems. Now, I done changed the thermostat off camera. I done goddamn, uh, I changed the thermostat twice, I think. That's all I did. Changed the radiator off camera as well. And now I think the last thing it has to be is the water pump. I'm hoping. If it ain't the water pump, we get into worse motherfucking situations. And I don't want to get there. So, Check this out, y'all. We're gonna get, we're gonna work on the water pump on uh, the convertible. I'm gonna call it, it's called the Skeletor right now. It's the Skeletor 240 because it ain't got no fenders and hood. I ain't showed y'all that, but I'm gonna show y'all now. <laughs> so it's just the skeleton of a 240SX. It's really windy outside, so if it's, the wind is fucking up the audio, I apologize. But here is the Skeletor looking shit. Don't even got a front bumper on it. It don't got no front bumper, it ain't got no fenders because of the accident. So I gotta make it do what it do. So, so far I got the uh, fan shroud off. Uh, I took some bolts off for the fan. Fan shroud, I gotta get this bottom piece off and then I uh, take the fan off. So I'm gonna take the fan off. The top half of the fan shroud is right here. Fan shroud, I mean, it's right here. Um, yeah, but you can go ahead and take the bolts off and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go back inside real quick so I can keep talking, but. Yeah, yeah, um, I want to talk to y'all a little bit because it's like, yo, y'all realize that the, the, the prices on these cars are going up so much. It's starting to freak me out because it's like, I go to call O'Reilly's or call Auto, uh, goddamn AutoZone and I'll be like, yo, can I get a, uh, what is the thing that they don't have no more? What is it? <sighs> what was it? It was something that I was trying to buy there and they disc they said it were discontinued. You couldn't buy them on uh, At uh, Riley's anymore and I was like yo these cars are getting so old And now you can't even buy the shit at the store no more and I can't remember what it was I think they were like turned like the the side markers or like the um It was like the side marker. It was something like that like something where you would think they'd still have it and they didn't I can't think of what the fuck it was. Maybe even the fuel pump. It was something, something weird that they didn't have. And this shit's getting crazy, y'all. Like, and then people are skyrocketing the prices. Like, sometimes I think about, man, what if I sold my cars? Get that back. But then I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope y'all are doing well, though. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've been on the channel. Um, just been trying to, like, you know, go through life as always and then like as soon as stuff comes up i try to fix it oh and then i got another thing that's coming for the black car um uh which actually i'm gonna do a video hopefully where i might be able to get it started um i wanted to take everything out and then uh sand the engine bay and redo it and paint it because uh while the time is down i might as well try to like knock something out and that'll make it look cleaner when it gets all put back together so um, if I can get this soon enough, which should be coming either today or tomorrow, I'm going to try to get the car started, make a video of it starting after the fire, and then go back and probably start tearing it back down. Or I'm going to drive it, get the white car, uh, get the convertible squared away all the way down to where it needs to be, and then start working on the black car. Because i got to make sure the white car can get me to A, get me to work and back all the time. And then the black car be down while I sand the, you know what I'm saying? So, because that might take a little bit trying to paint a whole engine bay and sand it out. And I don't, I've never done that. And I want to give it a shot and learn how to paint. So, anyway, enough of me talking. I'm gonna, we're going to get out there. I'm going to take this fucking fan off and then take the, uh, the damn uh, water pump off. Couldn't figure out what it was called. But, uh, yeah. Okay, done. All right, y'all. So, right now we got the, uh, the uh, goddamn the uh, fan shroud, the bottom part off. And uh, right now I'm just unhooking this right now. Uh, it's just a tin, you know, you just take a tin, unsnap it, you know what I'm saying? Unsnap it and then you hit all of them. It's hella easy, simple as shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, ain't no work, it's easy. So um, after you get that off, I'm gonna take the pulley off, black pulley off. Oh, well I need to actually loosen the, um, loosen the belt so the belt comes off. So you, down here. Loosen the belt so the belt will come off, take the pulley off, and then hit the water pump bolts. And this better work, because I'm getting tired of this car overheating just randomly. I get it overheat, I turn the car off, turn it back on, and then the, the, the uh, meter will drop, and it'll just run. 
fine and then it'll overheat and I, I thought I done bled the coolant like a thousand times so if it's the coolant being bled this shit's playing with me because I thought I bled that thing 155 times but I think it's a water pump it's fluctuating it'll it'll go up and then it'll go back down and it'll go up go back down and and um, I had ran the car, uh, ran the car with the the top off and it looked like like when I would rev it hella high, then you would see the coolant flowing. But then if I just let it idle, the fucking coolant would like shoot up a little bit, like and just sit, like not even look like it's flowing no more. So, I think that might be it. All right, so that's how we on to the uh, tensioner for the uh, belt. You gotta get your 14, which I don't know where I just put my damn 14. Don't y'all hate when y'all working on stuff? You just lose your shit right away, like. Anyway, it's right here because I found it. It's on top of this car that's still chilling here. Um, so, I'm a 14 extension. You know what I'm saying? Hit this right here. I already broke this first bolt on this side. And this is what holds the tensioner in place. So, if you don't break this and you loosen this, you're risking breaking this bolt right here. So, please be sure that y'all hit that first bolt because it won't slide up and down until you hit it. And I'm going to cut my finger at some point. Another thing about working on cars, you just randomly hurt yourself. One day, you just be chilling. I mean... You're chilling, working on fucking. Goddamn, what are you doing? You changing spark plugs. Next thing you know, you cut half your finger off. <laughs> so, and then like you just start bleeding. You don't even know what's going on. So you just loosen that shit. Get that tension up. You know what I'm saying? Break the tension a little bit. Break the tension. I think that's good enough. And then sometimes you gotta take like a, um, like if you have a bar or even an extension, take a hammer on it and then tap that little bracket so that it will slide down because sometimes it's it's so stuck into place it will not just slide down you have to like take something tap it down and then you'll see it slide down the same with the alternator alternator does the same shit so just keep that in mind because i've got mine all right give me a second let me find my uh well y'all got the gist of it okay that's how you do it and then i'm gonna come back to y'all when we get to the next step all right, y'all, so we got it off. Now, I'm gonna be honest, because I don't know if it could be internally or something. Hopefully, it's really not the motor's bad. This is why it's overheating, but I look at this, and this looks pretty damn, like it almost still looks new. Now, I don't know if maybe that's, like, because I remember one time, the inside, it was like raised up. Like that little inside piece was like hella higher than uh, like a new one. And it spins really free. So I don't know if this is even bad, but I have a warranty. I'm gonna go up to O'Reilly. It's gotta walk because I ain't got no car to drive right now. I'm gonna walk up there, get it switched, and hopefully this is the case. If not, I'm gonna try bleeding or I'm gonna try something else. Like, I'm just hoping that this is the case. I couldn't think of anything else that would make this car overheat like this. So it's off. It still look hella new. Like everything, it's barely even dirty. You know what I mean? Everything still looks hella mint on it. None of the teeth look like it's getting chipped off or none of that shit. It wasn't leaking at any point. So I'm going to try to get it switched out and come back and show you what the new one will look like. So let's get a good look at this one. Come on, focus up. Is it going to focus up? I don't know if it'll focus. It might. There we go. All right. That's what it looked like. And then we're going to go ahead and get the motherfucking nothing. Be back! Woo! I'm gonna scratch up my car now. I'm setting it on the car, but I'm scratch it up now. Even though I need a pay job. Alright, y'all. So, we about to make this little hike all the way to O'Reilly's. I'll catch y'all in a bit. Don't sleep on me. Don't change the video now. Just, just, just wait a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm back. Now, when I went up to look at this spot, uh, look at this water pump. Here's the new one. Let's see if it focuses. Now, it didn't look like anything was wrong with the old one, which is kind of like a sign of I'm worried. And if I'd have known that, I would have taken the one off of this and got a two fucking brand new one. No, I'm just kidding. But, no, I probably would have. But, <laughs> So I'm just gonna put this one in and try to bleed the coolant again and hopefully this, it, what I do know is it doesn't spin as freely, but I don't think that's a problem because these need to be spinning pretty good. So I don't think the spinning freely would um, make it not work as well because it spins these little metal pieces in the back to flow the coolant. 
So, I mean, maybe there could have been a, wa a pocket of air inside of this, so maybe that will help now that I dumped all the coolant out and I'm about to redo it. So we're gonna see if that is the case. If not, then we gotta look into another options, but we got it off, I'm gonna put it back in there and put everything back on. You just reverse the steps, you know, put the screws back in this, put the gasket on. Um, I'm gonna try to put some little sealant on the gasket on onto this already so I don't have to try to line it up and shit. I'm just gonna kind of stick it to this already and then it'll be a lot easier to throw on because I've noticed when I try to do my thermostat gasket, it's been hella hard and, uh, and uh, stuff like that. So I will uh, catch you on a minute. All right, so we got uh, we got the water pump in right now, all nice and snug, tightened in there. And then I just put the bottom end of the fan shroud. We're gonna put the top end of the fan shroud on there, and then no, we'll put the fan on now that I have the bottom part in. Put the fan on, tighten everything up, pour the coolant in, try to run it, bleed it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, pretty much simple. I'll probably get back to y'all as soon as I get to the part where I'm filling everything up and everything's buttoned up. Cause like I said, it's just re you just. Uh, retracing your steps so you put the fan on put the fan clutch part on right here but make sure you put this on first bam um then put the fan on then put the top part of the fan shroud on get all the wires situated put the intake back on then you straight so when i get to that point i'll be right back all right y'all so we got everything back hooked up um I got the fan on and everything, the belts on, all this back hooked up. I ran the car for a bit. Um, it started heating up again. I think it's the bleeding of the coolant. I'm not sure. Uh, I tried to bleed it as best as I could. So instead, I just drilled a couple holes in the thermostat, which kind of helped it open up. Because I think the thermostat wasn't opening. The bottom hose down here was always staying cold. And this was like hella hot. So um, I put some holes in it, put it back in there, and it does better now. So pretty much, I don't think that the, uh, the water pump was bad, but at least y'all know how to do it now. Like if y'all didn't know how, or we just doing little upgrades, so now y'all got to see the water pump being put in and whatnot. So at least we can knock that off the list for something that is done on this car. I think I may have changed the water pump like twice since I've owned it, and I've owned it for a couple years now. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get to some more little upgrades because I want to do a little bit more. Um, I changed the fill filter in this thing, so that's got a newer one in it. Um, and then I just want to do like little uh, maintenance upgrades and videotape them and shit like that, like even oil changes, maybe new filters, uh, get new headers and all that stuff. I don't really want to boost this. I have other KAs that I want to rebuild before, like doing something like that, but uh, I just want to do a little maintenance stuff that kind of keep this car lasting a little bit longer. And then getting this front end, because we got, I mean, this has got a little dent in it, and then this is the fucked up side, so all this was fucked up. And I tried to get it back as good as possible, which I thought I had it back, but for some reason, when I go to put uh, if I put like the black car's hood on it, which is good, on this, it sits over here. Like it sits over and it doesn't line up straight. And then like when I try to put the fenders on, they didn't line up straight. So I got either tube front or figure out somebody that's got some skills on like making my front end straight so that I can put that shit together. You know what I mean? My, sh my shock towers are still in line. They're still perfect. Uh, so I just probably have to get a tube front or somebody that can uh, fix my frame or front end or whatever or get hood pins I forgot about those you can get them hood pins take off the front end put a Sylvia front us uh, uh, I want to put a Sylvia front end on it and Go off of that, but Appreciate y'all for watching the video if you like what y'all saw hit the like button share and subscribe I love y'all. I will catch y'all in the next video, which will probably be working on this black car It'll probably be doing something with that um, probably getting it back going on the road um and yeah then we'll do little upgrades on that and whatnot but uh stay tuned see y'all